Do you have a toddler who likes to put things into his or her mouth? Well, foreign body ingestions are common and often seen in kids 6 months to 3 years of age. While some objects when ingested may pass through the gastrointestinal tract without any problems, but in some cases, it may need endoscopic or surgical removal. In this video, we will talk about the important objects that kids may ingest unintentionally, important things like button battery, um, multiple magnets, sharp or pointed objects. We will also talk about coins and other small objects. When should you worry? When to bring your kid to the ER? When to contact your doctor? And how to care for your child at home? Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquet. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. <coughs> Foreign body ingestions in children. Did your child swallow a button battery? Well, it needs urgent attention and urgent removal. Button batteries can cause low voltage burn within two hours when stuck in the esophagus. The esophagus is the tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. A battery burn can cause puncture in the esophagus, which is why it is a serious, serious condition. Even dead batteries can be harmful. So when this happens, your child needs urgent x-ray and it would need urgent removal. Another foreign object might be multiple magnets. Did your child swallow multiple magnets? When swallowed, these can cause serious problems for your child. This is because multiple magnets at different spots can attract each other across the bowel wall. And potential problems can include bowel puncture and bowel blockage. So if your child swallowed multiple magnets, your child needs urgent attention and would need an urgent x-ray. And another potential problem can be sharp or pointed objects when swallowed. Examples include needles, nails, pins, push pins, um, screws, toothpick, and the like. Um, most of these sharp or pointed objects need urgent removal. This is because when stuck, it can cause puncture in the digestive tract. Then how about coins or other small objects? Well, coins are the most commonly ingested foreign body. And coins are usually safe except if they're the size of a quarter or bigger. The size of a US quarter is 24 millimeters in diameter. Other small objects which are blunt include toy parts, game parts, small buttons, rings, paper clip, or teeth. They're usually safe if they're not sharp. So when should you worry when your child has swallowed a foreign object? When the object is the size of an inch or 25 millimeters, and it includes quarters as well. When the object is quite large, with the wrist being stuck in the esophagus or the tube that connects the mouth and the stomach. Symptoms of a blocked esophagus include trouble swallowing or throat pain or chest pain. Your child may also gag, vomit, drool, spit, refuse to eat or refuse to drink. And of course, you should worry if your child has swallowed button battery or multiple magnets and sharp pointed objects. So when to bring your child to the ER or when to contact your doctor? How to care for your child at home? Well, before we go to that, are you expecting a baby? How much better life can be when things are under your control upon baby's arrival? When you feel confident and know how to go about breastfeeding your baby? When you know how to soothe a crying fuzzy baby? When you know when to worry and call the doctor. When you know how to deal with your baby's tummy problems. How much better life can be when you can get the training and the comfort of your own home. Well, I've developed an online training video series known as the 5 Newborn Care Strategies. Do check that out in the description section. 
you should bring your child to the ER when your child has trouble breathing. When you hear stridor or a harsh sound when your child breathes in, or wheezing or a whistling sound. When your child has symptoms of a blocked esophagus where your child has trouble swallowing, is drooling, spitting, gagging, or vomiting, when there is throat or chest pain, and if you suspect that your child has swallowed button battery, multiple magnets, or sharp pointed objects. Then you should contact your doctor if your child has swallowed a coin and is not having any symptoms, and if your child has swallowed an object but it hasn't passed for more than three days, and if you think your child is to be seen but the problem is not urgent. What to do when your child has swallowed a small harmless object? Well, if your child does not have any symptoms, there are several options that you can take. The first option is to do nothing and assume that the object is in your child's stomach and this would eventually pass. You should worry if your child develops any symptoms, such as belly pain or vomiting. The second option that you can take is to check for your child's poop until you see the object has passed. If no object has passed in three days, then your child would need an x-ray. And the third option is to get an x-ray on all patients. This is to be sure that the object is in your child's stomach. Whatever option you decide to take, it is best that you talk to your doctor about it. Now, how to care for your child at home? Well, if your child has swallowed a small, smooth, or blunt object, we can assume that it has passed through your child's stomach without any problems. If your child does not have any symptoms, well, it is safe to assume that the object is probably in your child's stomach. In general, if the object has passed through your child's stomach, it most probably can pass through your child's intestines without any problem. To be sure that the foreign object is not stuck, we can do a swallow test to check for your child's ability to swallow. How to go about it? First, give your child some water to drink. If your child has successfully done that, then give your child some bread to eat. If your child has passed that, then it is safe to assume that your child can have a normal diet. How about when checking your child's poop? For small, smooth objects which are less than half an inch in size, you do not necessarily need to check your child's poop. For much bigger sizes, then it is important that you check for your child's stool. Have your child wear a diaper or have your child poop in a piece of paper and check your child's poop until you find the object. You can also use a knife to slice the poop. What to expect? Well, when the object has passed through your child's stomach, it is safe to assume that it will pass through your child's intestine without any problems. The object will usually pass in two to three days. There is nothing we can do to speed up the process. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.